Today we're going to talk all about Brachis the Shifter. Hey, welcome! I'm Lila Fox. Today's lore story video is for Brachis the Shifter. Brachis is a Skinwalker champion, a legendary Skinwalker champion in Raid Shadow Legends. And I believe he's pretty much the first and only kind of werewolf type champ that's in the game. And he had been introduced as a Halloween champ as well. So before we get into his lore story, let's check out the Skinwalker lore as a whole. As told by the tragic legend of Cheroka, Skinwalkers once had the power to cast themselves in the form of any man or beast. But after centuries of overuse, these shamans found themselves entrapped as something less than human, but more than animal. Though wild and dangerous, they can sense evil and may act to prevent it. Let's get into the lore story for Brachis the Shifter from the Telerian Lore Book of Champions. No one knows exactly how the twisted creatures known as skinwalkers came to be. Some say they were abominations created by Siroth out of envy of Lumea's children. Others maintain that it was a mighty curse of some sort that first turned humans, elves, and even orcs into werebeasts. Indeed, in most known legends, the first skinwalkers are cursed to take the form of a beast under specific circumstances. It is only later that their descendants are born with beast-like bodies that can never change back to whatever original form their ancestors possessed. One thing that can never be denied is the unnatural strength that flows through skinwalker veins and this strength has long tempted heroes across Teleria. Brachis was once a warrior of great renown. Hailing from a Norse barbaric tribe, he made a name for himself in battles and raids alike, serving whoever offered him the most silver and the greatest chance at glory. He was obsessed with becoming stronger, faster, tougher, anything that allowed him to be a better warrior than his foes. In his travels, Brachis came across ancient folklore that spoke of part men, part beasts, whose strength was so great that even a dozen mortal opponents could match them. Mesmerized by the possibilities, Brachis set out to find a way to harness that strength. For decades, he wandered the lands, seeking magic wielders from all walks of life. For decades, he found naught but disappointment. It was not until Brachis came across a half-mad hermit who lived in the dark heart of the Durham Forest that he finally had some luck. The old man was strange, to say the least, but he knew the tales of the days long gone like the back of his palm, and he promised to grant Brachis the strength he sought for a price. Eager to finally seize that which he sought for so long, Brachis agreed to anything, and even when the hermit demanded his heart, the obsessed warrior cut it out from his chest without hesitation. Or so the tale goes. However, the hermit remained true to his word as well. Spreading his crooked skinny arms, the old mage intoned an ancient incantation that kept Brachis from the brink of death. Thus gripped by arcane power, Brachis's body twisted and deformed, bringing out his true nature. Before long, a vicious creature, more wolf than man, stood on the cold soil floor of the hut. Alas, power never comes without a price. The heart that Brachis had offered the hermit was both a blood sacrifice and one of great symbolism. Though he had obtained the strength he craved, he also lost his humanity in the process. At first, he maintained a sliver of his old self, even his human form during the day. But, gradually, this control slipped, and Brachis descended deeper into bestial madness, until nothing but a vicious hunter remained, more wolf than man, both in body and soul. Alright, so that was the story for Brachis the Shifter, and while it doesn't exactly feel like a Halloween type story, it definitely feels like a werewolf story, right? Like, you hear about all these different stories about people that, under the moonlight, they transform into werewolves and just have this bestial kind of instincts, bestial type of rage. And so with this story, we actually start with a human. He seems like he probably would have been part of the barbarian tribe because they said he was like a Norse barbaric type person, right? So chances are in Teleria, he would have been in the barbarian faction. And his greed, his lust for power and strength really got the better of him. And he ended up spending a large amount of his life just looking for ways to be bigger, stronger, faster, and beat his opponents and pretty much be the best warrior that he could be. So much badly did he want it that he literally took out his heart, or so the legend says that they say, in exchange for power beyond measure. 
And unfortunately, this power that he ended up getting tr literally transformed him into a werewolf, into a skinwalker. So the sad thing about it is they do say that while in the beginning he was able to control himself, where he was able to shift from human to beast, over time he lost that part of himself and he started to pretty much just become the beast. And that's what we see happening here with the faction as a whole, with, like I had just read there with the skinwalkers, is that over time they become more beast and less human and they pretty much lose control of themselves. Leave me some comments down below, guys. What do you think for the lore story for Brachus the Shifter? Hey, check out some more videos up here in the playlist in the top right.